Good morning. This is Dave Woods again, Bowling Green Presbyterian Church. We're going to have uh, three more uh, lessons on faith, hope, and love. And Paul uh, gave this best in 1 Corinthians 13. But today we're going to start with number one of three, faith. Definition of faith is confidence or trust in a person or thing or belief that is not based on proof. So faith, we get to rattle that around a little bit. It's in our mind. Faith is something that we have to uh, thrive for, to hope for, to dream for. But first we're gonna start with a, a lighter side. Said a young blonde was on vacation in Louisiana. She wanted a pair of alligator shoes, but reluctant to pay the high New Orleans prices. I'll just catch my own alligator, she told one shopkeeper, so I can get a pair of shoes for free. She stomped out of the store and headed for the swamp. Later, as the storekeeper drove home, he spotted the, bron uh, the blonde standing waist deep in the bow, shotgun in hand with a huge alligator closing in. She took aim and shot the creature right between the eyes. The storekeeper watched in amazement as she struggled to haul the carcass onto the embankment where several other dead alligators were lined up. Oh no, the blonde shouted in dismay. This one isn't wearing any shoes either. Okay, our first text today is going to come from Matthew 17, 14 through 20. When they returned to the, uh, to the crowd, a man came to Jesus, knelt before him and said, Sir, have mercy on my son. He's an epileptic and has such terrible attacks that he has often fallen in fire and into water. I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. Jesus answered, How unbelieving and wrong you people are. How long must I stay with you? How long do I have to put up with you? Bring the boy here to me. Jesus gave a command to the demon, and it went out of the boy. And at that very moment, he was healed. Then the disciples came to Jesus in private and asked him, Why couldn't we drive the demon out? It was because you do not have enough faith, answered Jesus. I assure you that if you had faith big as a mustard seed, you could move a mountain. Jesus said, with faith, anything is possible. Our second text, Jesus heals blind Barnabas. They came to Jericho, and as Jesus was leaving with his disciples, a large crowd uh, gathered. A blind beggar named Barnabas uh, Barnabas, son of Tenemus, was sitting by the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many of the people scolded him, told him, be quiet. But he shouted even louder, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man, cheer up, they said. Get up, he is calling you. So he threw off his cloak, jumped up, and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you, Jesus asked him. Teacher, the blind man answered, I want to see again. At once he was able to see and follow Jesus. And the third one was Jairus' daughter. This is a combination. Jairus' daughter was very sick. And Jesus went back across to the other side of the lake there at the lakeside, a large crowd gathered around him. Jairus, an official of the local synagogue, arrived, and when he saw Jesus, he threw himself down at his feet and begged him earnestly, My little daughter is very sick. Please come and place your hands on her so that she will get well and live. Then Jesus started off with him to Jairus' house. So many people were going along with Jesus that they were crowding him from every side. There's a woman who had a, a, suffered terribly from a problem for 12 years. Even though she had been treated by many doctors, she had spent all of her money, but instead of getting better, she got worse all the time. 
She had heard about Jesus, so she came in the crowd behind him, saying to herself, if I could just touch his clothes, I will get well. She touched his cloak, and her problem stopped instantly, and she had the feeling inside herself that she was healed of her trouble. At once, Jesus knew that the power had gone out of him, and he turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? His disciple answered, You see how the people are crowding around you? Why do you ask who touched you? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. The woman realized what had happened to her, so she came trembling with fear, knelt at his feet and told him the whole truth. Jesus said to her, My daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. And he healed her of her troubles. While Jesus was saying this, some messengers came to Jairus and told him that her, his daughter had died. Jesus paid no attention to that. What they said, don't be afraid, only believe. Then he did accept Peter and James and his brother John. They arrived at the Jairus' house where Jesus saw the confusion and heard all the loud crying and wailing. He went in and said to them, why all this confusion? Why are you crying? The child is not dead. She's only sleeping. They started making fun of him. So he put them all out, took the child's father and mother and his three disciples and went into the room where the child was lying. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talapa Kong, which means little girl, I tell you to get up. She got up at once and started walking around. She was 12 years old. When this happened, they were completely amazed, but Jesus gave them strict orders not to tell anyone, he said, give her something to eat. Jairus had faith enough in Jesus that, he could, that Jesus could save his daughter. The woman had faith enough in Jesus. All she had to do was just touch his garment and she'd be healed. And we learned the faith on blind Barnabas. he just heard about Jesus. He had faith. He knew that Jesus could touch him and he'd be healed. So we got to have faith, each and every one of us. Faith can move mountains. It can move us. Let's have a prayer. Our Heavenly Father, please give us the faith we need to keep uh, staying on the path of righteousness to come to you. Bless each and every one that hears this and may they keep the faith the love and hope that always surrounds us and from you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.